Hello, it's Paul here. I'm going to give you a really quick introduction tutorial today on how to launch a, a webinar using Zoom. Really easy to do. I did one last night with a load of YouTubing golfers. Maybe I'll put a link somewhere towards that. Uh, and while I can remember, or it's at the top of my list, I'll show you how to do it. Before I start though, what's always good on these videos, if you tell me why you're here, tell me what you're here for, uh, and if it isn't covered in this video, I can point you into a better video uh, or a tutorial, or if you go, I'll put a link in the description, there's some free Zoom training on my website uh, that might have a better, better answer for you as well. And if I give you any uh, help or advice in this video, uh, a subscribe would be awesome. We're going to get into it. Um, keep an eye on the uh, description. In the description, I will put the timestamp where each lesson starts, where each part starts, so that you don't have to consume this whole video in one go. You can jump to exactly whichever lesson you uh, need, starting with pricing. Right, so let's talk about the plans and pricing first, because you are going to have to pay for the webinar feature. So when you come to Zoom pricing, you've got this pro version here, that's uh, obviously a bit better than the um, free version because you can have more participants um, and you can record for longer. Free version only records one-on-one -on -one meetings. The uh, the fourteen ninety nine a dollar a month uh, pro version can do a hundred participants in a meeting. Now the difference between a meeting and a webinar quickly is a meeting is um, interacting with each other. Everybody in the meeting. Imagine you're all sat in a boardroom. It's, it's everybody can interact with everybody. But on a webinar, you might want you might want to do a presentation where it's just you, or it's just you and a couple of other people, and you want the um, you want people to watch you and interact for your Q and A. But uh, and you may want to let them uh, jump in and answer a question. But you don't want them to sit there as if the part or equal part of the meeting, right? So what you're gonna have to pay for for this is uh, the, it's an extra $40 a month, right? So, uh, oh no, that's storage, webinar down here, is um, it's an extra $40 a month, but what you have then is the webinar features, you have up to 100 people can interact with you on video as a participant, so this is someone like who's, you know, imagine you're sat on a sofa on those videos where you're interviewing two or three people, those are the participants, and you can have up to 100 of them. But then you can have up to 10,000 people that are just viewing and interacting with the Q&A, right? So it's an extra 40 a month. What you've got to pay is the $14.99 a month, right, to, to get the pro plan. And then it's a $40 a month on top of that, right? So let's log in and um, just have a walk around. Uh, where am I? What happened here? Yeah, yeah I am logged in. Um I don't know if you're new to Zoom or you know Zoom, but I'm just going to presume that you know how to walk around Zoom and um, you, you're just here for the webinar part, right? So we're going to come in, we're going to schedule a webinar and we're going to live in this section. Quickly, obviously, you've got a profile, your meetings. Again, this is for around a coffee table, sorry, around a conference room table where everybody wants to be interacting with each other. That's what meetings are for. Webinars. This way you're going to schedule your webinar. We're going to do it in the next section. Recordings. This is where your recordings are going to be from when, when you've done the webinar. It can automatically save it for you. Settings. We obviously set up everything that you've decided um, in default and things like that. You can set, change the settings uh, and then some user management and things like that. It's pretty easy to get around. If you're just using Zoom one-on-one, -on -one, you can just uh, host a meeting up here and go for it. But obviously we are interested in the webinar. So let's start on, let's start and host our first webinar. Right, so let's set up our webinar and schedule it for a certain time in the future, right? So when we go to webinars, obviously here, schedule webinar. We're going to jump in and say uh, webinar topic, how to use Zoom for webinars. Webinar. How to use Zoom for, <laughs> come on join us, uh, come on join us and learn. Zoom, right, I'm not a big writing type. If you've already got a, a template set up, so the one I did last night, I had a temp, I, I saved it as a template so I can save, I can just pull up a template and take all the settings from that. Pick out your time when you want it to be, so we're 8 p.m. tonight, let's say it's 10 uh, p.m., 
but it's almost 8 p.m. now. Uh, how long is it going to last for? You know, an hour, an hour and 30, whatever it's going to be. What time zone are you going to launch it from? Is it recurring? Do you want to say this is every day? Uh, is it weekly, monthly? No fixed time, but it's recurring. So you can set a recurring date. I'm going to leave this as not registration. Now, the big difference here is do you want people to sign up for your webinar, leave you an email, um, uh, or do you just want people to come straight into the webinar and then log in, right? So if you want them to register, you click it, and I'll show you the difference. Uh, or if you just want them to come in uh, and watch, then you just basically leave that unchecked and they'll just arrive at the webinar, right? Do you want a password on your webinar when you log in? I'm going to turn it off just because while I do a video, I can't, I won't be able to get my head around uh, remembering what password I put in, believe it or not. But you, if you want to lock your webinar down, put a password in and then you obviously give the people that you want to come in your um, uh, password. Uh, video, do you want... Uh, the host to be able to have video on do you want the the panelists to have video on i'll turn it on so do you want your panelists to have the ability to turn on video how are people allowed to log in are they allowed to come in on telephone or is it going to be the computer audio or both i mean i don't know which if you don't want people to dial in you maybe won't really sign that uh we webinar options uh q a do you want a q a section uh enable practice session i actually don't know what that means um all right, so I, I just searched it. A webinar practice session allows you and your panelists to get set up acquainted with Zoom webinar controls before you start. So it's probably a good idea if you're going to interview people and you don't know what you're doing to tick it and enable a practice session so you can all set it up and then start the webinar whenever, when you're all happy. Authenticated users, so people have to sign in. Um, uh, make the webinar on demand. So again, this is uh, on-demand webinars allow you to schedule a webinar with registration and record the webinar automatically in the cloud. After the webinar, registrants, registrations will stay open uh, and anyone who registers will receive a link to the cloud recording. So afterwards, they're going to be able to see it and watch it. Uh, record the webinar if you want to record it on your local computer. For some reason, it's not even, I guess it's on demand. You have to, if you go, that's what changed, isn't it? So if you go on demand, you can't record it locally it will just record automatically to the cloud. If you just want to save it to your computer and use it later, you can. But if you're on this to if you're on this um, pricing tier, which obviously you are because you're doing a webinar, you uh, can download it anyway. So it's not, you know, just leave it in the cloud. It's easier. Alternate host, if you want to put an email in because somebody else is going to be a host, you can set it up there, right? So schedule it. There we are, we are all set up and ready to go uh, with the basic settings. Here's now your registration page. So if you send somebody to that page, they are going to get, uh, oh, I'll show you how to change this. Uh, how to use a webinar, enter your email and register. So that registers them, it tells them to join from a PC um, and here's the link to do it. They're gonna get an email Eventually, is that turned on? Is my email on? Oh, my email's not online for some reason. Let me uh, turn it off. Uh, turn it back on. There's something wrong with my email at the minute. But anyway, so uh, email settings, you can edit the email settings. I'm not gonna go through everything there. English, panelist, invitation to, you can you can, ta you can tailor the, um, the email in. Change this, this was, uh, this is the default branding. But I can change that to um, whatever brand I want. So, yeah, this was maybe last night. Oh, no, let's go. Uh, does that one work? Here was last night's webinar where I obviously created a banner with everybody who was in it. Uh, upload your logo if you want to. You can add your speakers. So, you know, if you've got, you know, Paul Nicholson, uh, IMD, happy me. Uh, oh yeah, managing director. So titles managing. It's not, I mean, it's only me that works for happy me. So, uh, but that is my official title. Happy me. Uh, I don't know. YouTube, tech trainer. Upload. I maybe should have brought this out into different things. Uh, 
oh man, I don't know if I've got a picture of me anywhere. Add a picture. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, this is not a good picture, but let's see if that one works. Yeah, you need it to be a square, so I'm not going to slow it down. I'm not going to slow this, but obviously you get how to add a, uh, a profile, and you can add that. Uh, polls, if you want to set any polls up, maybe I'll come back to this as I fly through the settings. Uh, Q&A, any integration with anything else, and live streaming. I will talk you through live streaming in a minute, right? But now the registration page will reflect the new banner. And if I go back and register again, there's the speaker. So the speaker's there. And when you do register, you will get the registration on the email, right? But for some reason, my email isn't playing ball. Let's go up here, mail. Gmail, come on. So when you do get the, uh, duh, duh, duh. where are we, updates, Paul Nicholson, here we go. So this is the email that comes through with the banner of the email uh, and it comes through twice and the, and the uh, speakers will be listed as well. So I'll go through that again in a second, but it's really easy to set up the webinar, right? Right, so let's see, we've come to nearly the time, let's start the webinar, right? So we start this webinar. 10, 15 minutes before, I'm gonna open in Zoom. So if you don't have the Zoom app, you're gonna to have to download and run the Zoom app. It's really easy to install it. And you are gonna join, and it's gonna ask you, uh, oh, and because we ticked practice mode, you can see at the top, we are not live. Uh, I wish I'd known this yesterday, I could set everything up. Um, so at the moment, nobody else can join, nobody else can dive in, uh, and they won't, they won't see what you're doing, right? So I can join with computer audio, and I can turn my video on. Holy crap. It's kind of blurry. The lighting in my room isn't good, but I'll show you something else in a minute. So now, what I can do to set myself up is I can change the, uh, I can change the different speaker and I can change the, sorry, the microphone and the speaker. So currently the speaker's coming out of my headphones uh, and then I can change the microphone depending on what I've got. If you've got something like, if you want to use something like a Blue Yeti, if I plug it in, my Blue Yeti kind of, it, um, it makes a bit of a crackling on my new computer, so I've not used it for a while. But you should see down here, are we on? The Yeti, oh, I just turned it off. That's how you turn it side on. Tell stream, here we go, it's the Yeti, so I could, I could uh, use any external mic. I could use, I've got my mic, is it a label mic or whatever down here. I can choose whatever mic I want, basically. So you don't need to worry what mic you've got. Or you can just use the computer audio if you're uh, happy with that. Let me just turn that off. Oh, man. Why, um... Why the, uh... Why the MacBook Pro doesn't come with USB ports is beyond me. So start video, and it started actually on the uh, HD, but it could have been the FaceTime. It's a bit blurry, that again. You'll have a really, if, you've, if you're in a place where it's nice and bright, you'll be fine. Right, this section is if you want to go live on Facebook or um, YouTube. I think, what's the other option? Uh, so you go here, more live or oh, live on Workplace on by Facebook. So you want to go live to your team. So you can have these sections where you've got the custom live stream, the live on YouTube, or the live on Facebook. This is where you want to set it up, ready to go. You may not, you, you may have to, you will turn the broadcast on and then go switch it on. But this is where you need to check the, check the settings, right? So in this part, we're going to go live on Facebook. So we're going to click. You can only go live on one of these. You can't go on multiple. So you've got to pick whether you're going live on Facebook or you're going live on YouTube. You can't do both without getting funky, right? So let's go live on Facebook. It's going to ask me to log in. I don't know if I'm logged in. Share it on your timeline. Share it in a group or share it in a page you manage. So you can go wherever you live you want. Um, where should I go? Uh, page I manage. What have I got on here? Um... 
DoncasterGolf.com. I don't know why I've still got this post, this this page, but I used to have it years ago. So I click it, posting as, if you want to post as yourself or, or uh, uh, your personal self, that was that option. But I'm going to post as the page and it's going to set up the live feed, right? So, uh, try the new design by going live. Uh, not now, but you, you can try the new version. So obviously up here, I'm going to put, um, what was the, what was it? Uh, how to uh, use Zoom. For webinars any tags you want to add uh, share to a group as well if you've got groups and at this point you don't need to go live right uh, I'm not sure what settings there are or you can get you if you if you allow cross posting you can go live all the way across uh, any other places so if I wanted to go to these other uh, pages I could go live across multiple pages uh, interactive or you, if you want to do polls you can ask, ask polls there but this point now, Facebook's all happy, right? So what would you you would generally do is go back and launch your podcast, launch your live at the same time. So however you want to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go live on Facebook just to show you the delay. To so it's, there's a little bit of a delay on the um, on the feed. But what I want to explain is, uh, don't go live on Facebook until you've gone live here, right? So the second you go. Uh, broadcast and say right we're live you can turn your Facebook on don't do it too early is what I'm saying right so let's go back to Facebook and go live right so setting up your Facebook and you might want to as that goes live go live on the other side the reason I'm not doing it is I'm going to show you how to do on YouTube as well Hopefully it's going to pop up. What did I say? What was that? Don't know. Doncaster Golf, right? It might not be a published page, that. Oh, here we go. Doncaster Golf is live. Right, so here's the... Uh, so setting up your Facebook, and you might want to, as that goes live, go live. So if I put two thumbs up, we'll see how many seconds there's a delay. It's like six, seven, eight, nine, ten... It's going to be a while, 11, 12, 13, 14, I think it says 20, 15, 16, 17, <laughs> come on, 18, 19, 20, yeah, it's about a 20 second delay, uh, I think somebody puts that somewhere, it's about 20 seconds, so you can, you can, while your, your people watching you are only seeing that, right, so what you can do is when you're talking is you can jump off and obviously look at the comments, or you can get the comments on a different device, or anything like that, right? You can actually jump jump around, uh, move the screens around, see your Facebook Live comments, right? But that's how you go live, it's really easy to do the Facebook Live. YouTube's a little bit funkier. Right, let's go live on YouTube as well. Uh, this is a bit funkier because it doesn't work on my computer, I don't know why. So when I go here, live on YouTube, I'm gonna, I'll select again, uh, something I don't use, sub to me, and you should just be able to go allow, and it'll ask you how you want, I want to set it up like this, what's the privacy, public, private, or whatever, and go live, right, the live streams feature for your account might not be able, oh, let's go, it's okay, okay let's go back and go um, on my main channel, which you're watching this on, so I'm gonna, I'll make it private, so it, nobody, unlisted, so nobody can see it unless I share the Facebook Live link, right? But you would just put public if you want to see people see it and go live. Now, for some reason, I get that. Page, the pay, please grant necessary privilege for the live streaming. I've not been able to get it to work. I don't know how to get it to work. If people from Zoom want to tell me how to get it to work, uh, that would be cool. What I have to do is I have to go to YouTube and I'm logged in the right account here and go live, right? Now, when I go uh da, da, da. if i'm going to go a new stream uh zoom webinar how to whatever right public or unlisted i'm gonna you're gonna make it public if you want everybody to see it i'm gonna make it unlisted i don't want people to see do you want monetization on do you want to schedule it for later uh is it for kids or not and is there age restrictions that's up to you but you're going to create this stream, right? And it's going to give you this information here. So now what I do is I go here 
and live live on custom live streaming service. And it asked me for this information, right? So streaming URL, I copy this one. So this is the streaming URL, right? You can do this way before you even get here. The um, stream key. Uh, oh, I've done it again. I, do, I always do it wrong way around. Show, you can show it, it doesn't matter. The stream key and the URL. So the URL's up there and the live streaming page URL. Everyone who uses this link can watch the live broadcast. Everybody who uses watches this link. I don't actually know what this means. Live streaming page URL. Uh, everyone who links who has everyone who uses this link can watch the live broadcast. So that will be the um, when you set this up, right? When you go, when you get ready. Where's the uh, connecting stream software to start preview? Uh, it's going to be the link. It's going to be the link here. So click share and click this link, right? Because this is the link. That's what it's asking for. Where is your YouTube uh, going to be? So click that share button and it'll give you the link. So put that in there. Uh, and it'll do the it'll do its uh, setup and you will see your Zoom call turn up here, right? And again, you're not live. You're not live on Zoom or YouTube, right? And you may not want to do it, go live on YouTube. It can be a lot of work to do both. So here comes the preview, right? So that's me talking there. And then, the, so the preview is now ready, right? So again, now when you're ready, you may go live on Zoom or you may go live on YouTube and then on Zoom. I would recommend go live on Zoom, go live on YouTube. So turn this live, make this broadcast live and then up here, go live, right? So you're live on Zoom and you're live on um, YouTube. So we go to this link, we'll see that I'm live. Oh, there it is, <laughs> this link's open. Right, so you're gonna see that I'm live. In fact, I haven't launched the... So it does go live on YouTube straight away even though you're still not fully broadcasting. So you may wanna decide which way around you wanna do that. But you can see that you're live. YouTube. You're live on YouTube, right? Makes sense. Clear as mud. Right, we're ready to go live. We're ready to turn on our webinar and start greeting people. We're just going to click broadcast. Recording in the corner automatically starts. I'm going to turn YouTube off. Uh, stop live stream. Uh, because I don't want really to slow us down. So we are now live and the world can sign in. Right, so we're going to uh, invite our guests and um, make them participants. Right, so I'm live. I'm waiting for people to turn up. You know, I might be five minutes early switching on me live. Uh, and this is what's going to happen. If you look at the phone, I'll have the phone up here. So this is what's an attendee and then your participants going to see. So when they get their email... Or if you've changed the registration off, they can come straight in. They're going to click click here to join. Uh, okay, join meeting. If they don't have the app, they're going to have to download the app, right? So they download the app from the App Store. Everybody who signs in has to have the Zoom app. You have to have it on your computer. And every uh, participant, uh, other host uh, or attendee has to have the app on the phone. doesn't take much to... Um, uh, to put it on. They don't have to, have to do anything at this point. They need to go back to the uh, email and click join. And this time the app will open and it'll automatically jump them in. Would you allow? Would you want to allow your microphone? Yes. Do you want to allow your thing? So they're in, right? So they're actually watching me. So they're watching me. So it's going to be a bit confusing, but they're watching me. Right, this is me. This is not them looking at themselves. Right, and now down here, I've got an attendee's arrived. The test attendee has arrived, right? Um, if there's more people uh, on in, they can swipe across to get most, most people. But what I'm going to do, I can allow that person to talk. And on that, it's going to say unmute so they can start talking to you. It's going to feed back like crazy. Hello. Hello. Ah. 
so they can start talking. So you don't have to make them a participant to talk to them. They can be an attendee uh, and ask you questions, right? So you can basically, you basically unmute them and say, if you've got a question, in fact, what they can do is, if you've got multiple people, they can use this. Oh, oh, it's already there, sorry. When they're a, when they're a participant, it's a, see, raise hand. So if anybody's got a question, they can raise their hand. So imagine you've got 100 people and someone's got a question. And then you just go over there and unmute. Uh, and then you can talk to them direct, right? Now, the next level is allowing them to be a participant in your discussion. So the next level up than just watching. And you go here, um, promote to panellist. Now, what you'll notice on the um, phone is it's going to kick them off and then bring them back on. So it closes, it closes it and then it opens it again, right? You get a little ding dong. Your panelists are here. What you'll find if you're in Gal if you're in uh, Speaker View, whoever's talking will be uh, that it's not you. If there's five people, whoever's talking, the picture will be main. But a lot of people like the gallery view. What you'll see is a lot of things going around where there's about twelve or fifteen people on there. Uh, here we go, and the uh, person, if there was more than one person, the, the person on the phone would be able to uh, swipe to the left and it would show the gallery view as well. So participants in, participants in, hello, how are you doing? Do you know you're, you're welcome? Oh, they haven't shared their uh, video, have they? So you just over here, start video. Uh, yes. And now the participant is in and you can start talking to whoever's in there, the attendees can watch, you can be live on YouTube and you can be live on uh, Facebook, uh, or either or. But let's just go through some quick functions uh, inside while you're launching. So you can have up to 100 participants, or 99 including you, um, in there, then 10,000 attendees. So I'm gonna bust, I'm gonna bust the attend, the, uh, attend, the um, pant list back to, um, uh, an attendee but uh, just before I do that let me just show you chat so you can go to chat and you can talk to all panelists all panelists and attendees or I can or I can privately message my test test person right so I basically I can say uh, to all panelists uh, ready to go all look good right comes up on the phone I can um, all panelists and attendees, uh, one minute to start. And I can privately message a panelist. You okay, mate? Right, comes up down here. I can click on that, send to Paul Nicholson. If I go to the dots, again, the, att the panelist has, and here's gonna be the difference because I'm gonna bust him back down to an attendee. An attendee can't see um, I don't th I'm not sure the panelists can either, can they? They um, oh, uh, participants, yes. Uh, view attendee. Oh, so the, the participant can see the rest of the list, right? Now, what we're going to do is let me go back to chat. Uh, chat, I'm just going to reply. Oh, good, let's go, let's go, right. Now, um, on the, oh, I've got it open. If you had it, if you had it closed, it would have come up. Let's just do a, it would have come up down there, right? But I had it open, yeah? So this is the difference between the webinar and the meeting, is that the, the participant or attendees, the participant can see everybody who's in, but the minute you bump them to attendee, or if it's just a regular attendee, they can't see who else is in the building, right? They can't see... Um, uh, I just looked at all them different settings. Um, I'm not going to go through them all. Uh, <laughs> they can't see who else is in. This is the difference, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go here, change role to attendee, or I'm going to go here and I'm going across here and change role to attendee, right? So I'm going to bust them back down to an attendee to show you, right? So it, it's going to close them out of the phone. And it's gonna um, 
log on back in as an attendee. So if I go back to the phone, I've got the phone open still, and I'm going to show you that now I don't have an op as options to see who else is there, right? I can only see, I can, I'm watching now, I've only got a few options. I've got an option to raise my hand, chat, or Q&A, right? And let's just go back to the chat to see what the options of chat is. All panellists or all panellists and attendees. So I, I can't privately message another attendee or anything like that, right? So hopefully you're getting where we're at. Let's just do a few more settings. Let's just go Q&A because you don't get the Q&A in um, a meeting either. Uh, so basically if I go on the phone, there's a Q&A box, box, right? And I'm going to ask a question. Um, how do I ask a question? Right? And there's going to be two options. Where's the question mark? I never use phones. Sounds stupid, doesn't it? Uh, and then send, right? So down the bottom on the, on the computer is a Q&A. It's lit up, right? So now I'm doing my spiel and the Q&As are stacking up. The Q&As are stacking up. So when I come to it obviously anything i've answered or if i've dismissed it click here and dismiss it right um would would the previous questions would be here and other people can see them but what i can say is how do i ask how do i ask a question and i can go like this answer live or type the answer so i can type it to that person and leave it logged in or i can go answer it live right and then I would go, all right, if you want to ask a question, just go down to the bottom of your page. Sorry, go down to the settings at the bottom where it says Q&A and click the Ask Question block, um, tab in the top right. I can done that question. I've answered it. I've answered it live. And there it was. Asked it to 8.32. Or I can just type in uh, uh, bloody WhatsApp on my phone. Ask a question. Uh, uh, how do I do a poll? And send that in. So another Q&A, and this time I can type an answer. Um, uh, poll question is coming. I can send that privately to that person. Or I can uh, send it so everybody can see it. So there it is there. Poll question is coming. My questions. All questions. Oh, all questions or my questions are going to be the same. And they can close, right? Right. Sorry. Let's, uh, so let's do a poll, right? So you want to do a poll. You, you can have predefined polls already. Or you can add a question. It'll jump you back to your settings. Um, how is the webinar... Uh, anonymous you can let people not let you know who they are if you want if you want to um, how is it going so far obviously you'd have a better question than that good bad rubbish right you could let them obviously a single choice you can only pick one multiple choice they could pick more than one uh, and save it good bad or that you check it out and or you can allow your panellists to vote as well. So look at the phone, launch the post, there it goes up, and good, submit, and it will come up. End poll, share results, goes to the phone, right? Stop sharing. We'll close the poll. Uh, so the poll's are really easy, and you can relaunch it, and you can go ask another question further down in the polling. Edit. Uh, so you could go here, ask another question. Uh, yes or no. Yes. No. Save. Oh. Uh, type, edit. What? All right, so I didn't like. I've got to have a description. Save. Oh man, edit. I add it there, right? What's he, what are you telling me that I'm not doing? Incomplete, yes or no? Oh, I changed the original poll, didn't I? I just added a question. Here, yes. No. I added the same question twice. So, good or bad, 
uh, share oh, share the poll. I'm not sure if they can poll results. Cancel. Oh yeah, I didn't do that properly, but yeah, I think you get the point. You can set up a poll that does more than one question. Uh, that was pretty poor uh, explaining, but you jump back to the jump back and carry on. So you get to end of the meeting. Well, there's a few more settings that you can share. You can share your screen. You can allow. You can decide who's allowed to share or not. You can share. You know, if you've got other pictures, if you've got other uh, parts of your screen you want to share, this is how I'm recording everything. Uh, I guess I can annotate on there and do all sorts of things with uh, adding text boxes uh, here. I can draw a line. This, you know, I can uh, stamp something. I can make that bigger. Um, mouse, I can show you the mouse. I don't know what that means. The mouse, so I can move stuff around. I can actually use the computer into That's what that is. Um, and you can erase things you've done. Spotlight, you can clear everything. So obviously you can share your screen and, and then play around, you know. This is more of an introduction than a, um, in depth how to do everything, right? Uh, other, other things, obviously you can answer your Q and A, you can talk to people as you wish. What else? Invite more people. Somebody says, oh, I want our friend to come. You can straight invite them as you've launched. Um, anything else? I don't, I'm not sure at this moment anything else you need. I think you've learned a lot there today. Uh, when you come to the end of a meeting, you can end it or you can say thanks very much for coming and you can stop the recording up here and then carry on talking to people if you want to sort of chin wag that you don't want to be part of your recording but you end the meeting end for all everybody's gone and your recording is going to the cloud uh, and it will be you will get you'll get an email sent to you saying this is where to get the link for your recording this is how to do your zoom webinar i don't know if it was um a great example i always get a little bit lost some away when i'm trying to do things myself it would be great to have a team member and, and come in, but I haven't, I haven't been, uh, I haven't wanted to draw anybody else in yet. But hopefully, this gave you some ideas. Any questions um, on any of the lessons? Let me know. I will make more clarification. I know that everything wasn't obvious. I may do a little settings for uh, all these different things that you need to do. I don't know how to get people on your webinar, and I don't know how to make it popular or what you need to sell. But I hope this gave you the technical advice of how easy it is to launch a webinar, to share it on Facebook, to share it on YouTube, um, to interact with your um, attendees, to invite them to be participants. Hopefully it gave you a good idea. Um, let me know. Anything else I can help with, I will try to help. Come and visit paulnicholson.com, um, a place for, there's going to be full Zoom training there. Or there is full Zoom training. If you go to paulnicholson.com, everything on my website's free. I don't have anything that you can pay for if I log out here. You'll see all my training is free. Everything's free. A lot of other uh, great platforms as well to make your business more profitable. If you go Zoom, I'll put a link. It's actually pnuk.co forward slash Zoom training. And you can sign up for the Zoom training. I will add this as a lesson uh, and other things. And if you've got any questions or you're stuck, you can come and join me in my forum, ask any questions, and you can come to my Facebook group and ask any questions. Uh, always here to help. Thanks for watching. I hope it gave you some idea of what to do. See you soon, guys. Thanks.